Okay, so I tried a sliver of this uh, Hatch chili. I am what I am. Gee, 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 gee. Got them all, all the seeds out. I'm saving the seeds to grow. But uh, no. I only ate a little bit, a little sliver. And um, it's pretty hot. You could take these with you camping. These would be great to roast over a fire. You know, you could just set them right on the grill. But uh, this is going to be my rendition of Chili's Rolano Battered Deep Fried Chili's. I'm going to cook my rendition of Chili's Rolano. These have been frozen. I've kind of got them thawed out now. So we've got a little frost on them. They're pre-stuffed. These are the Hatch Chili's that we got from New Mexico. Hatch New Mexico. And uh, we're gonna batter them up with a beer batter and then uh, fry them in some oil. And uh, inside they got uh, cheddar cheese, some seasonings, uh, cream cheese, um, uh, green onions. I don't remember what all we put in there, but stuffed your pepper, stuffed your peppers, and then we'll we're gonna make a batter. I've got this room temperature beer. We're gonna add to a bowl. Amy's making. Uh, what'd you call it? Oh, bacon cheeseburger casserole without bacon. I'll fry the bacon. Flour to the beer. Probably about a cup, maybe two, until we get the right consistency. About paste consistency, a little thinner than paste. Mix it until all the suds work out of it. And get all them chunks out. Now we're just going to add a little pepper, coat the top of it with pepper, we're going to add salt when we're done.
I'm gonna take two eggs, <clears throat> de yolk them. And use the whites out of two eggs to thicken this up a little bit. Because the peppers are real smooth. So we want something that maybe you know is a little more sticky. Well, we're not going to use that first egg. It had a chicken in it. If I find one that doesn't feel very heavy, we don't, we don't want to find another chicken. Okay, we got a good one. We're going to mix this around with the egg yolks in there. And if it doesn't stick very good to your fork, it's probably not going to stick to the peppers. And it's doing okay, but we're going to add a little bit of a cornstarch. like two tablespoons corn starch and we're just gonna mix that in there now it's not gonna want to mix up real well because it is fairly liquidy so you're really gonna have to eat that in there Okay. I'm gonna 
I'll put these chilies in there to soak. Coat them completely. And you can store this batter in your fridge for about three or four days after you make it. And batter whatever you want. Fish, onions, peppers, pickles. So. But we're just going to let that sit. We're going to fry up some bacon and get some grease. For on top of our um, cheeseburger, cheesy cheeseburger casserole, we buy our bacon in bulk and then we separate it into what we feel is about one pound servings. This is an applewood smoked bacon. That has been. Um, Car cured for a day or two. <laughs> what? But you can smell the applewood smoke flavor. Mm. It's just a lay flat. You know? Not ends and pieces, a lay flat. Applewood smoked bacon. We're gonna fry a bunch of this up and use it as topping on top of our uh, this stuff that Tammy's making. She's gonna do cheese and uh, elbow macaroni. So kind of like hel hamburger helper, but gourmet hamburger helper. We like that. Make our own. Same idea, but you know, ours. Stuff we grow again.
Got our bacon going, presses are on. That's the way you cook bacon. We either do that or we cook it in the oven. So now everything we deep fry in this will be a little spicy from the chilies. Them coated good. And they're still a little frozen, so that cheese in there will take a little while before it'll just melt out and run into the pan. That's my hopes. Never done this before, never had hatch chilies. So this is what new one for me. We're gonna try it. So the bacon is done, and uh, there's our bacon grease. I'm gonna add some grease to it. We save all of our bacon grease. Bacon grease is great for, you know, frying things in, and especially potatoes and stuff like that. So we save all that to use later and just keep it in the fridge. I want enough uh, grease in here that it covers about half of that chili. Check my chilies again while this is melting. Get the temperature. Working so well. Probably should have dropped it.
so that didn't work. We're gonna try again. Put some more oil in it and see if um, dropping it in the oil does better. I'll use some uh, canola oil. We'll leave batteries. Be right back. All right, round two. Let's try this. I took all the old stuff out. So it didn't burn. But if this fails, we still got this. Look at this deliciousness here. Amy made. Still got that to eat. With the bacon we're going to put on top. But this is pretty hot. Try round two. Looks like it's sticking again. Try scooping it off the bottom before I flip it. Ooh, that worked. There we go. Chili Drillano, gorilla style. Look at that. Kind of coming out of its skin, but we serve that up with some cheese. Oh, it's got cheese in it. Just went ahead and threw the old stuff back in there. But look at that stuff just oozing out. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I'll show you when we get it plated. So we took that same batter, that beer batter that we used on the chili Rolanos, and we took just some regular dill pickle chips, and it battered, it fried up really good with that batter, and then we just sprinkled it with Parmesan. So that batter works really good for dill pickle chips. Mmm. And that's really good. We got the chili relano relano flavored cocina azul inspired by cocina azul albuquerque new mexico i'm gonna try these lays chips flavor icon to go along with our chili relano that we made
It's uncanny how much those taste exactly like what I made. I've never had chili brillano, but what I made and these chips, they taste almost exactly alike. Chips are better though. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like these videos, we have a lot more on our Patreon site. So become a $3 a month, you can become a patron and get exclusive content, stickers, and a lot more, including the Tammy Can. So come check us out.